myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry and currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll try to get some insights and updates on what is the next step you need to do while the complete IT market is down. We are hearing from a lot of people that there is a decline in IT job. And if you are the person who are looking for opportunities and unfortunately nothing is going on your path, well, this video is for you. I request you to see the complete video so that you get to know what next, what you can, what you can do next. Well, before I give some tips and suggestions, I would like to talk to you on some of the latest updates that is happening in the market. Well, the first thing is usually the first quarter and the second quarter of every year, we will be seeing a lot of opportunities that is coming from the right from the big giants and from the startups as well. But unfortunately, this year is something which is quite different from all of the previous years. Usually in the month of April and May, once this budget is implemented, so you should be having a good growth in the IT jobs. But this is a big question mark this year. Nothing is going our way. And to a shockness, the metro cities like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai and Mumbai are the most affected cities in terms of job. So there is a very less job opportunity, I would say. And in fact, some of the companies, I would say it is a completely a zero hiring. We call that as a freeze period. This freeze period usually happens in the month of November and December when most of your clients, most of your businesses are shut down. But the same experience what we used to get in the month of December and it is happening in the mid of the year. Now, that's the biggest challenge for us. Well, this is something which is not in our control. And to this verse, we also have a statistic saying that in the last three years and this is the year where the May month has become a completely three year low in terms of opportunities and the vacancies. Well, if this is what is happening for the people who I would say experienced people, well, even freshers are no exceptions here. There are a lot of companies who have hired freshers from their final year in terms of campus recruitments on campus off campus even their joining dates has been delayed offer letters everything appointment letters everything has been delayed well it's happening to everyone there is no exception here whether you're a fresher you're an experience you're a mid-level you're a senior management well everyone is in this crunch period now what's next the last three minutes what I've spoken, it's completely towards negative side. Now, what can you do next? Well, the same news source where we have got all this information, there is also some good news that you need to think about it. Well, you keep calling HRs for opportunities. The one thing which you keep hearing is we have layoffs. We have a fund crunch like we are not hiring any new people and there's a lot of projects that has been shut down and moreover you can also hear from referrals that in every project there is a cost cutting there uh, reducing the number of people in the team well these are the four things which you keep hearing from everyone in the recent times usually reference will have some weightage but unfortunately this time it's even that is not working now as i said all these are the things which we got from the source. The same source says that still there is a, a positive hiring that is happening with respect to data driven technologies, which we see as machine learning engineers, big data engineers, cloud engineers, business analysts. Well, if you are multi scale, that is still we can see some positive trends. Well, there are certain things which is not running in your way, but you need to also accept the fact that there are certain technologies which is still seeing a positive hiring during this bad time. 
well if you feel like this is something which i'm saying for as a console you can just go and see the source as well your time uh, your economic time says that you can see some positive trends that is happening with respect to data driven technologies well now the choice is yours if you still want to keep on trying for the same technology which you are good at it you have to keep on waiting until your train comes well if you just wanted to reach a destination well all is like you need to reach to multiple ways of reaching at the destination now the choice is yours you have to scale up you have to know all the advanced technologies that is in the market trend well I, i'm not saying it's an exception even i would face the same situation right now i need to upgrade i need to go and learn multiple technologies in order to sustain that role well it applies for everyone until you are there in it you have to keep on learning well this is all about the things which is happening outside and inside but if you ask me my personal experience and i do have connect with few of the founders with respect to startup and my senior management one thing which i have heard is just try to learn the technologies which is in demand well the market is down but still we have hopes that we can still get into a good role by scaling up there are a lot of technologies which is in place which is in still in demand i would say please learn that and get into a role don't keep on waiting with your comfort zone you have to go out of your comfort zone in order to get a better career reach out to our mentors reach out to us we will still help you in deciding which course is better for you well scaling up is one thing which you need to accept the fact that you have to scale up because we understand the market trend we know what is happening in the market the only way to face this challenge is scaling up now with my personal experience one thing which i would say is you have to find a solution for the problem there is no alternative or you cannot escape from the first point that is you have to enhance your skills try to know multiple technologies we know that the market is in a crush situation but they still expect someone who knows multiple technologies rather than hiring four people they can still hire one or two people to make your work done and you have to be in that one or two and in order to be in that one or two you have to scale up right be flexible if the company is asking let's say you have joined for a technology a and if you are asking to technology b yes be in that role where you say that yes to everything be flexible learn as much as you can this is a phase where you need to face a challenge when there are a lot of opportunities and you get a job that's that's something not an achievement during the tough situation getting a job is what it will prove you that you are the best it person that you can crack the job at any point of time so that should be your motivation and along with that start reaching out to people over networking networking is the best way so if you ask me if you reach out to right people at the right time definitely job opportunities will be there i i keep saying this in all of my sessions every company has an attrition rate right so 20 25% of the attrition rate what is attrition rate the people who are leaving the company will always be there now you need to grab that roles don't look for a new project or a new client or a new team which i want to get into first your opportunity is to get into a job and let the job like be applying to many opens which is actually people who are leaving the companies try to look which company is hiring it could be one or two vacancies and you need to grab that and that is one thing you need to capture and apart from that one thing which i keep hearing from uh, most of my students is they easily give up two days they have searched i haven't got call okay third day let's take a break fourth day let's take a break and that becomes a habit one thing which you need to remember is don't give up keep on applying see this is not a situation only for you this is happening for everyone even in my case if i am not able to get a project to my company even i will be thrown out now every day i need to keep thinking about the ideas and suggestions and what improvements i can make to the team in order to get a new project 
if I am not able to get a new project, definitely I will also be laid off one day, right? So you need to start thinking out of the box what best you can do to get this opportunity right and always i would say is be consistent today you're applying for one job tomorrow you're applying for two jobs day after tomorrow you're applying for three jobs all your job description what they say is you need not match everything right if their company is giving a job description you need not match everything you should be flexible to learn if whatever the company is demanding that the person should know all the 10 points which is mentioned in the job description that if the company is expecting that the employee should tick all the boxes take it from me not even a single person will get job it's all about how you manage how you take one step at a time right so please do what is in your control don't think about what is happening in the market whether i'll get job why i'm not getting calls why hrs are not responding why interviews are not getting scheduled just keep all that aside just do what is there in your control and rest of the things will definitely fall across you right well that's one thing which i wanted to tell and at last just i would like to tell you one motivation well there was a saying that knock the door of opportunity well i would say that this is all done and dusted if you keep on knocking the door one at a time or one time in a day you have to keep on wait but i would say start banging the door now knocking and banging there are two different words try to understand what is the meaning knock it's just like you are knocking whether the person is opening or not, you don't even care. What is your work? You knock. That's it. But banging the door, the other person should open the door with the frustration. That is what is expected in the current market. Don't keep on waiting for the opportunity. Bang the door as hard as possible so that you get this job. Okay. With that, I would also say that we are a team who always are there to help you. We are running business analytics, data science, data engineering, data analyst. We are running all the courses. Please reach out to our team. We will definitely guide you. You getting a job is what we are there for. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please keep applying and please don't give up.